dictator bent on rebuilding an empire will never erase a people's love for liberty. Brutality will never grind down their will to be free. Ukraine will never be a victory for Russia, for free people refused to live in a world of hopelessness and darkness. We will have a different future, a brighter future, rooted in democracy and principles, hope and light, of decency and dignity, of freedom and possibilities. For God's sake, this man cannot remain in power. God bless you all, and may God defend our freedom, and may God protect our troops. Thank you for your patience. Thank you. Thank you. Be not afraid. These were the first words at the first public address of the first Polish Pope after his election on October 1978. Putin has the gall to say he's denazifying Ukraine. It's a lie. It's just cynical. He knows that. And it's also obscene. There's simply no justification or provocation for Russia's choice of war. And it is Putin, it is Vladimir Putin who is to blame. I also want to thank my friend, the great American chef, Jose Andres, and his team for help feeling those, feeding those who are yearning to be free. Notwithstanding the brutality of Vladimir Putin, let there be no doubt that this war has already been a strategic failure for Russia, already. I've always spoken directly and honestly to you, the Russian people. Let me say this, if you're able to listen. You, the Russian people, are not our enemy. I refuse to believe that you welcome the killing of innocent children and grandparents, or that you accept hospitals, schools, maternity wards, and for God's sake, being pummeled with Russian missiles and bombs. Now, Vladimir Putin's aggression have cut you, the Russian people, off from the rest of the world. And it's taking Russia back to the 19th century. This is not who you are. This is not the future reserve you deserve for your families and your children. I'm telling you the truth. This war is not worthy of you, the Russian people. Putin can and must end this war. The American people will stand with you and the brave citizens of Ukraine who want peace. And we're seeing it once again today with the brave Ukrainian people showing that their power of many is greater than the will of any one dictator. 